Welcome back to Sutton Farms. I know it's been a long time. Sorry we haven't been working on the Mustang. We've had other projects going for a little while. But we are back and we're excited to start working on the interior of the car. Uh, we're going to get you in there in a minute. We're going to take out the seats. We're going to take out the sills, the carpet, the clean it out as best we can, see where it's rusted out. We've got floor pans to put in and hopefully we can get one of those put in today. We've got other family stuff. There's a bug around here trying to eat my face off. We're getting back into it. The weather's changing. It's going to force us inside and we're going to start working on the Mustang again. So let's get started. Here's the inside. I know we have a video of this. Um, but get an idea what it looked like. We'll get these seats taken out. We'll clean them up as best we can. The driver's seat's a little split, but I'd sure like to keep the original seats as much as we can. Now the carpet's shot. You can feel down here it's rusted out. And um, this side's not as bad as the other side. I'm sure there's rust in there. Um, we'll get it out and clean it, even if we just clean it up but we'll get as much replaced as possible. Yeah. Okay, here's the underneath side of the passenger. And I think the seat bolts are probably around here somewhere. Maybe under these plugs. So we'll pop these off and get a look at these. We'll cut out anything that's bad and we'll replace it with what we got. We'll buff all this down and spray paint it. I got a lot going on over here. It's worse on the driver's side. Let's open this up. So we got new ones of these, and these are the grommets that cover the seat post where we're taking the nuts off. This one, on the drinker side, still got a little bit of give to it. This one, solid as a rock. Amazing what will happen after 50 years. Well, did you get the nut off? Connects on the 
any coins under there or anything. No, there's not a lot of them. Can't shut the door. It's the best. Oh, so one of these broke off when we were taking them off. Got four, but we'll get under there and we'll clean it up. See that? Oh, man. Yeah, that slides back and forth. You could take that off. Yeah. Put a new one in. Yeah, we can get that fixed. We're pulling some carpet out. Let's take a look at this. We should probably just put the carpet over it. <laughs> yeah. seat out, carpet out. Let's do some shop backing. We'll get this cleaned up. Maybe even cut out some of the floor pan. <clears throat> start over there, or maybe start over here. These are just sitting in there just to give us a good idea of what it's going to look like. Well, it's day two, and we're going to clean out the uh, the junk from the car, all the old rust and stuff like that. It's been building up for 50 years since they built the car. I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner, the shop vac hooked up, take these pans out, we'll get it all vacuumed out, and then we'll show what it looks like. You can watch me do a little bit of it, and then we're going to buy some sound deadening mat to put down. We're going to... Um, Get you some low profile uh, self tapping sheet metal screws to get these pans in. That'll probably be next time, hopefully, only a few weeks away. Uh, but for today, we're going to get it cleaned up and you can watch.
we vacuum this out, I think it looks pretty good, all things oh, considered. <laughs> Got a hole over here. You can really see how bad it is, but... Um, it needs to be wire brushed some more. Yeah, we'll have to get a grinding wheel in here. Grind it all down, get rid of some of these little odds and ends pieces that are left. But all things considered, it's looking better. All right, we've done everything we can for this weekend. We're gonna go to a uh, family birthday party. And the next time you see us, we're going to install the floor pants that we have. We're gonna do some more cleanup. We're gonna clean up with the wire brush. We're gonna do some retaping. We're gonna get the sound deadening material off of Amazon and hopefully have all that. And we're also going to buy the piece that sits on top of the engine and we're going to try to pull up the engine and see if we can at least get it loose. We've decided we're just going to rebuild the engine instead of trying to get it going. Um, and that'll probably be sometime in what, December, maybe January. But we're going to get the interior done as much as we can and clean it up. I have some juice to throw on the seats and we might buy a seat cover for at least the bottom portion of the driver's seat because it's split. And we'll see you next time. If you like anything that we're doing, subscribe to the channel. And that's it for this time. Thanks.